Tabat J. E -Z, tabit, sometimes spelled tabout is a J. E -Z, that is, an Ethiopian Semitic language word referring to a replica of the tablets of law, onto which the biblical Ten Commandments were inscribed, used in the practices of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Tabit can also refer to a replica of the Ark of the Covenant. The word selet, gies, salet, modern selet refers only to a replica of the tablets, but is less commonly used. According to Edward Ullendorf, the Gies word tabit is derived from the Aramaic word tabuta, tiboda, like the Hebrew word taba. The concept and function of the tabit represent one of the most remarkable areas of agreement with Old Testament forms of worship. A tabit is usually 6 inches centimeters square, and may be made from alabaster, marble, or wood from an acacia tree although David Buxton states the maximum length of 40 centimeters is more common. It is always kept in ornate coverings to hide it from public view. In an elaborate procession, which has often reminded literate onlookers of the sixth chapter of 2 Samuel where King David leads the people dancing before the ark, the tabit is carried around the church courtyard on the patronal feast day, and also on the great feast of Timket known as Epiphany or Theophany in Europe. Buxton describes one such procession, on the festival of Gebra Memphis Kedis, to the uninstructed onlooker the climax of the service came at the end, when the tabit or ark was brought out, wrapped in colored cloths, carried on the head of a priest. As it appeared in the doorway the women raised the elil, a prolonged and piercing cry of joy. When the tabit goes out of the bet mekdis, everyone goes down to the floor and says a prayer. At first the tabit remained motionless, accompanied by several processional crosses and their attendant brightly colored canopies, while a group of cantors dabtara performed the liturgical dance so beloved of the Abyssinians. The dancing over, a procession formed up, headed by the tabit, and slowly circled the church three times in a counter-clockwise direction. Finally the tabit was carried back into the sanctuary, all was over and the assembly broke up. Although Ethiopia was never colonized by the British, many tabits were looted by them during the 1868 expedition to Abyssinia, also known as the Battle of Magdala, which is a cause of anger among Ethiopians. During the looting of the Ethiopian capital of Magdala in 1868, British soldiers took hundreds of tabits. The return in February 2002 of one of these, discovered in the storage of St. John's Episcopal Church in Edinburgh, was a cause of public rejoicing in Addis Ababa. Another was returned in 2003 after Dr. Ian McLennan recognised the ancient tabit at an auction in London. He bought it and donated it to the government of Ethiopia. See also Thabolitho Altar stone Antimension Notes Further reading C. F. Beckingham and G. W. B. Huntingford. Appendix 3, The Tabit. In their translation of Francisco Alvarez, The Prester John of the Indies Cambridge, Hacklett Society, 1961, pp. 543–8. Like external links Pilot Guides Aksum and the Ark